It's a great privilege and honor to be a plenary lecturer at the ESB annual meeting. I'm Larry Hench. I've been working in the biomaterials field now for, believe it or not, 45 years. I'm currently a part-time university professor at Florida Institute of Technology in Melbourne, Florida, where we are starting a new biomedical engineering program, and I direct a new center for medical materials and biophotonics. I'm also a emeritus professor at University of Florida, where I served for 32 years, and Imperial College London, where for 10 years I was professor and co-chair of the Tissue Engineering Regenerative Medicine Center, and have the great pleasure also of being a visiting professor at King's College Guys Hospital at the University of London. It's particular pleasure for participation in this year's ESB meeting because I will be receiving the Acta Biomateriala Gold Medal, and that is a marvelous honor. But I want to say that it is an honor that I hope to be able to share in my plenary lecture with the many, many students who I have had the pleasure of being able to work with and, and mentor and supervise and participate in creating the field of bioactive materials, and particularly bioactive glasses, which have become an important part of the clinical uh, treatment of now millions of people. The plenary lecture will be followed by a special symposium chaired by Professor Julian Jones at Imperial College London, where the latest understanding of technology and basic science of bioactive uh, glasses is going to be presented by a marvelous collection of some of the greatest researchers in, in the world. As I look back over the 45 years, it has been an amazing to go from original discovery in 69 to where we now are able to understand the genetic aspects of the activity that we call bioactive uh, glasses. My plenary lecture is going to focus on the challenges, though, that we're going to be facing in the future, the challenges of delivery of affordable health care to an aging population. Biomaterials is going to be a key part of this new technology that makes it possible to decrease the cost of health care while at the same time enhancing and improving the quality of the care for the aging population. It's a great challenge, but this meeting is going to make it possible to forecast the future, hopefully that will be able to provide these assets for all these people. I was asked by the chairman of the ESB meeting, John Hunt, what perhaps is my grand ambition? Well, it may surprise you, but my greatest ambition of yet to come would be to take my children's books, the Boing Boing series, Boing Boing the Bonnie Cat, series of books, which we hope to be launching book number seven here at this uh, meeting, and actually see those translated into a TV series that will be able to be possible for youngsters to not only be entertained, but also actually learn the science and technology as they're being entertained. The books, I think, have achieved this. We've had marvelous success in a number of schools of using the books for dealing with uh, children that have learning deficiencies. And doing, translating that into a TV series would be a great ambition to finish a career. So I uh, look forward to seeing you at the meeting. Please come.